we're going to be showing you the best spots to place your camera as Cypher on Valorant. Using your camera is essential to succeeding when playing as Cypher, and can clear out rooms or sites so that your team can push through safely. We'll be looking at each map individually to make sure you have some good spots to use in every single game you play. After watching this, you'll be able to utilise Cypher better to make sure you become an invaluable member to your team. At A site on Ascent, you can jump onto the generator from heaven and plant the camera right here, overlooking the entire site. The only spots you will not be able to see are behind the generator and the far left corner. This camera will be hard to spot for enemy players pushing the site, as they will have to alter their aim completely to even see it. To overlook all of mid, you can hop on this box near the tree, and aim up at the corner of this building just below the cable on the wall. Then, when you jump, you'll be able to place the camera high up on the wall. This will cover pretty much all of mid, and will even be able to identify if anyone is rotating from B main through to A. Again, like most of these cameras, it's high up and pretty well tucked away. But even if someone does shoot it out, you'll still have a good chance of gaining key information. There's a great camera that you can place at B site which will cover any players pushing through B main archway or out of market. Line up on the edge of this platform and look up to this spot on the wall outside of B main. You can't physically see this camera before entering the site, so you have a pretty good chance of catching players off guard and seeing where they're pushing to. A simple but effective camera spot. You can place a camera right on the left side of the vents here from A site heaven. This will cover the whole site and will even allow you to peek into showers and round the corner into A short. It's pretty hard to spot, so you should be able to gain valuable information before the enemy team can shoot it out. You can also place one in the corner of A short here, which will let you know whether anyone is pushing the site or planting right on the corner. Players passing through A short won't usually think to turn and look here, so it can definitely catch them off guard. But of course, when they start to catch on, it's best to switch up the camera location to avoid it being shot out quickly. Going over to B site, there's an incredible camera that you can place early on to see people pushing B long. This will cover the first section of B long and also the entire site, so we'll have uses later on in the rounds too. It can be shot down pretty early on if they expect it, but it's highly unlikely that the opposition will notice it the first time. Even if they do shoot it down quickly, you can still get a general idea of how many people are pushing that side from the few seconds of info you get. If you hop onto this box in the corner of A site, you can place a camera right here, hiding it somewhat in the corner of the site. You'll be able to see players coming through wood doors from mid and overlook the entire site. It also gives you some info on players pushing out of the cave, but just bear in mind that you will see these people quite late. The only downside to this one is that it can be destroyed quite quickly from players pushing through mid. For a good camera in mid, you can hop onto these barrels in the corner here, then place it on the metal vent in the corner of the stone wall. This will give you a good view of players pushing into mid from mid bottom, and also any players lingering around mid pillar on the right hand side. This one's quite well hidden as it's in a pretty tucked away position, but also has some leaves covering it, making it more likely to stay up for longer. You can get a similar spot over at B site, where the leaves cover the camera also. If you stand close to this wall in the back corner of the site, you can jump up and place the camera high up on the wall, giving you a view of the entire site and also a nice view into B main. You can use this to get early info on a B push, but like most of the others, it will likely be shot down if used too often. On Fracture B site, you can use the same vent that was previously glitched to place a camera and conceal it slightly from the enemies. This will look over the entrance to the site and locate any players trying to push around the corner. As it's tucked away, you should be able to tag one of them before they see it, giving pretty much a free kill to one of your teammates. The A site can be covered by a camera in the top corner here. You'll have to take a running jump from the top of the stairs to place it, but you'll want to place it as high up as you can, so you can see as much of A drop as possible. It also overlooks the opening from mid and the left hand side, whilst also covering a little bit of the bomb site where players usually like to hide behind and get a plant off. If you find yourself rotating back to B and want to get some information on the site, you can go into the tunnel and place a camera right in the top corner here. This will allow you to see the feet of enemy players pushing into B on the other side, without them being able to see you, unless they stand pretty far away from the tunnel. This one is pretty situational, but if used in the right circumstances could help your team out a lot. From heaven at A site on Haven, you can hop onto the windowsill, look left and place a camera right here. Be sure to angle it outwards as much as possible, and you'll get a really good view of A long ramp, the exit of A sewer, and the entire of the site. 
including a small view of the cubby under heaven. This can be used to gain early information on which site the attackers are going to, but could also be handy for knowing whether they're planting or not. b site at Haven is pretty brutal for Cypher, so instead we've gone for a camera in the garage that will give you some immediate information on players holding mid-window. Expect this one to get shot down pretty quick, as they'll see and hear you placing it. However, even if this does happen, you'll know that people are there. And if it doesn't, then you'll get some great information, and will more than likely be able to tag one of them. You can plant a camera right in the corner of the C site to gain information on any players trying to plant. Seeing as the corner of the middle boxes is a popular place for people to plant, you can hold that angle without risking being seen, as you're tucked right round the corner. People will clear the left upon entering the site, but are unlikely to check right round here, especially if the camera is placed as high up as possible. Icebox is not Cypher's strongest map, However, there are a couple of simple cameras that you can use to still be important to your team. The first one is over at A, where you can place a camera high up in this corner to overlook most of the site, covering the main spots where the enemy are likely to push in and plant. Similarly to the C site on Haven, with this being around the corner, they are unlikely to check that high up, meaning that it shouldn't get shot down early, allowing you to check the site later in the round. There aren't too many spots for cameras in the middle lane, but you can place a quick one on the wall here to gauge whether people are pushing through. This is likely to get destroyed pretty quickly, but you can place it from halfway up the ramp at spawn, meaning you never have to peek. And even if it does get shot down early doors, you definitely know that people are there. Finally, over at B site, you can plant a preemptive camera down low by this box in the corner. This will allow you to look right down B green and potentially tag enemies peeking around the corner early on. Place it on the back wall as opposed to on the side of the box, to make it a little bit harder to locate for the enemy team. It won't make a huge difference, but even if it takes them a second longer to shoot out, you could gain some important info. Split has some great angles that you can use cameras from, the first being at B site. If you stand on the walkway to the right of heaven and look up at the roof of this building, you can place it so it overlooks the entrance to the site from B garage. Players pushing through here will be covering heaven when they enter, meaning that you should be able to tag them before they can shoot it out. This also gives you a good view of most of the site, so it can be used later on in the rounds when you're rotating back to B. It's pretty hard to get a good spot in mid, but you can place one down low at the back of heaven to get a decent angle on any players peeking around the corner. It also covers the stairs, meaning that it can be used any time during the round. Because it's down low, players might not think to look for it to shoot out, but if you find that they are shooting it out, you can place it higher up and locate players by seeing their legs. The final camera spot is over at the A site, and can be placed by aiming at the right hand side of A tower from heaven. Aim at the grey line between these two parts of the wall and place it as high as you possibly can. This will give you a good view of the ramp leading down to A, and also anyone hiding in the corner of the site. Because this one is so high up, it's unlikely to get shot down very quickly, so it can be used to survey enemy positions or give callouts to team members that are pushing into the area. So they were our best camera spots to use as Cypher on Valorant. Let us know your favourite map to play as Cypher and whether you'll be trying out any of these lineups. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing as we're edging closer to our goal of 1000 subs and would love your support in getting there. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next guide.